fit your welcome. You right? you want to pop it in and then tidy it up a little bit. If I try to be tidy from the beginning, it loses all of its life. So the goal is to have some vigor and then it's easier to tidy it, tidy it up. Courage. Right? You gotta just drop it in. No fear. No fear. <laughs> That's it. No fear. Now, if I want to have like a top of this post, right, I want to make it look like a post. I can tidy it. And I'm gonna need more. And it's real goopy, right? And this is dark, thick mixtures. It's definitely in the cream, right? Because I want it to be totally opaque. So everything about that earlier conversation where I was like, don't sweat it about this earlier wash, right? We can be what we can turn the painting into what we want later. And then the watercolors are more opaque than people give them credit for. So we have the beginnings of a post, a series of posts. <clears throat> they make a fancy brush called uh, a reservoir liner or mm -hmm. a dagger sometimes and this does make very fine lines and if you have a hard time making fine lines this is a great way to do it so um, as you get there is a rigger also it's like a fine it's like this reservoir liner oh, that's beautiful. but it um, this has a fat belly on it the belly is made out of natural hair and the tip is made out of a synthetic bouncy hair no. So as a combo, it lets you make long lines for a long time. Is a reservoir liner. Yep. What's oh, that? Scoda? This is from an Alvaro Castaneda workshop that oh, I took. Okay. But you can get them elsewhere oh, yeah. and look up yeah. a reservoir oh, no. liner. I thought I knew every brush there was. So a rigger is just like this, but without the belly. Mm -hmm. The problem is, you run out of paint. Yeah, yeah you yeah. do. Right? You really so, do. So if I, just to say, here I am, I'm going to make a line. Right? You get better at it when you do it a lot of times. Can I do it with this? Yes. Wow. Right? And and just to show, it's like, oh, it keeps going and going and going and going and going. You can go for a long time, right? So it's a helpful tool. Could you hold it? Yeah, just so it's, yeah, like, like that. And what's the name of it? Yeah. Reservoir liner. A re if you look up a reservoir liner, okay. a liner is just like a rigger. Yeah. This has just got a reservoir on it. Fat. And different bands, brands have begun to make more of them. They used to be really hard to find. They do nice things. So at this phase, we're in the playtime part. <laughs> and I need some grasses. Right. And is the reservoir layer there? No. no. This use? is just my normal uh, synthetic. And like most, a 12 point with a point. This is a, yes, it's a 12, but what really matters is what's the size of the ferrule. It's around a quarter inch to a third of an inch. Mm -hmm. That's because everybody has a different uh, Do you ever sizing. Do synthetics? No, not at all. I so, so earlier I was using a set of mops. This is natural hair. That. That was for the first wash yeah. that you came in after yeah. it. Yeah. And the Chinese brushes that I use, the calligraphy brushes, are a type of hair uh, also. But synthetics have their place. So I'm just sort of dropping some of these in. Oh, you're drawing two. Oh, I see. For calligraphy. Yep. I want these little uh, grassy bits, right? Some of them go behind. Of them go in front. We're connecting shapes, right? And then, you know, when I was doing this at home, I'm not going to force this on you here, but you know, I was doing this for 45 minutes, <laughs> trying to figure out where should I put them. And no, I want a space here and density here, and then I want this to relate. He's not lying. Here to the post, and oh, it's too much. I need to open it back up. And then I scrape it out. I mean, like it's going on for a long time. Because it's really just pure composition, right? And as long as I know I can make an interesting stroke, then everything else after the stroke is just where should it go? How does it relate to other stuff? So um, the, this larger synthetic, occasionally I need a fat line because I want body. If I dry this off, you know, 
It's just filling it up. This is all grassy somethings, right? But as we enter this phase where we're integrating the shapes, I have to go to a different tool. It's too big. That's where this reservoir liner comes in really well. So as an example, I take my orange and I'm mixing it up with that muddy yellow. I need more water in this. Oh, wow. Right. It's just lovely for that. That's awesome. Reservoir liner brush. Yep. Yeah. My new best friend. I saw you. They make them in one size. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, and, and if you see in the photo, after I'm done painting, you know, there are grasses there, but they're not this. We've come a long way where we're really separated from the Reality. original subject, and we've entered into the realm of art making, right? Right. Um, and, and to me, these, these strokes are really about integrating these shapes, right? I want your eye to find these and come and be led back into the meadow and then to have an entrance point into the trees in the distance so that you can come back to the barn, right? If they're too separate, you'll never transit from one part of the painting to another. So, and then at some point I go, oh, I want a big, fat orange stroke, right? Uh, and then I want to get this uh, orangier. That's a technical term. You know, oh, I want little seed heads. I'm just playing, right? Um, but you're still thinking about composition. I am. Like yes. Right? Like I think, oh, I'm very heavy over here, but I have nothing over there. But I don't want grass everywhere, right? What I really want you to do is to have a way to climb the ladder up the painting into a different part that you want to go th around through the painting. So I'm like, oh, we need a piece over here to sort of lead you into the barn again. Oh, let's cross the barn. That was on purpose, actually. Right? <laughs> I actually was. It's in the other painting, too. You'll see it. It was a deliberate. Yeah. I thought, ah, I need something to cross this horizon line. It's too separated. Right? Yeah, so it connected yeah. the barn. Yes. Yeah. Um, so when are you teaching this? Ha! <laughs> We were just talking about that earlier. I'm actually going to try and run, do some classes again in the spring. Okay. Yeah, Good. maybe some plein air too. So I'm also looking to see how wet things are still. And it's still pretty wet, right? Um, so no seeds going on there yet. That's so beautiful. You know, this, I think there, it's more it should beautiful be, than the original. Let me dry it real quick with there's a hair There's probably a hair salon. It, it's yes. A hair let me dry it real quick and come back and we'll do the last set, the, the, the jewelry. Right. <laughs>